Hi there, my name is Lonnie Ingram. I am the Vice President of Smart Cities at Verizon, and we are here in Denver at the Smart Cities Connect Convention. You know, the Denver Smart Cities Connect um, uh, convention it was really exciting for us because it gives us such a great opportunity to be able to network with city leaders as well as industry leaders and really try and move this industry forward uh, together as a team. Um, also in the Denver area there's just so much happening in Colorado in general around smart cities. Tremendous amount of interest, so much innovation and technology happening in the state. So we were actually really excited to spend some time here. 5G has such a strong role in smart cities uh, because there's so much of the censoring capabilities that is going to be leveraged in our day-to-day -day lives to improve things like safety of our communities, um, our mobility aspects, um, as well as other things around sustainability and environmental activities. Um, there's just a lot of engagement between our environment and the, um, the technology that really needs some of that extra push with the connectivity. 5G gives us a tremendous amount of latency and bandwidth that is needed to be able to especially work on some of those solutions that require a lot of data Data to be processed incredibly fast. So if we think about things like autonomous vehicles or uh, other video-based solutions, uh, 5G solutions um, are really important to be able to move those capabilities uh, to the forefront. Smart cities and 5G both require a tremendous amount of infrastructure in the ground. Um, with 5G, obviously, we need to be able to have our communications infrastructure all through the city so that we can ensure that that connectivity is available to citizens when they need it. Smart cities is very similar in that we have sensors that are going to need to be put on the ground, on light poles, and in key areas where people are interacting, and we want to be able to have that exchange between our environment and the individuals who are uh, doing activities through that environment. So very similarly, uh, we need to be able to create partnerships with cities uh, to be able to ensure that that infrastructure is put in place in a timely fashion and is also put in place in a way that really directly benefits the citizen. Um, infrastructure for 5G is something that is massive. Um, it is a big task to be able to ensure that the U.S stays in the lead in 5G. In Verizon, we are first in 5G, and we want to keep that momentum moving. That requires us to really have deep relationships with our city leaders so that we not only put in that infrastructure for the connectivity, but we can see that benefit straight to the citizen. Data is an incredibly important part of the smart cities industry uh, because we're getting so much information about what is happening in our communities. And it's important to be able to leverage that data in a way that helps the, the, both the citizens as well as the government leaders make better decisions in what we need to do to plan for growth, to be able to create better um, communications and exchanges, um, and also to be able to improve services uh, so that people have a better experience in their communities. The data that we're gathering from the sensors, the data that we're gathering from one another, when it's kind of combined in a way that analytics um, are allowing us to really kind of get the sweet spot out of that uh, information. It's not just data for data's sake, but it is relevant data that's allowing us to make better decisions. That to me is where the big data effort should be focused. You know, IoT and smart cities um, has been around for a little while, and uh, we haven't necessarily always seen it hit that full-scale potential that we know that it is about to do. Um, and it's because we do hit uh, some barriers. Uh, some of those barriers are uh, even just things like rethinking how our business models work. How do we actually move from traditional spend to smart spend, uh, allowing us to be able to do more with less? Um, how do we also deal with risk? of going into something new. Um, we've got to be able to think about privacy concerns, uh, data security. There's a lot of um, really important things that have to be uh, uh, focused on in order to be able to really roll some of these solutions out at scale. Um, these are some of the challenges that we work with other industry leaders as well as with city leaders with all the time so that we can actually get these industries um, moving and scale the way we know that they can be.